The man behind one of the largest intelligence leaks in U.S. history stepped forward Sunday in an interview with The Guardian. Uh, my name is Ed Snowden. I'm uh, 29 years old. I think that the public is owed an explanation of the motivations behind the people who make these disclosures that are outside of the democratic model. The Guardian reporter Glenn Greenwald broke the news last week of widespread phone and internet surveillance on American citizens carried out by the National Security Agency, a report he called necessary. The only thing we've endangered is the reputation of the people in power who are building this massive spying apparatus without any accountability, who are trying to hide from the American people what it is that they're doing. Snowden provided Greenwald with information in exchange for anonymity, but says he never intended on hiding his identity forever. He told The Guardian, I can't in good conscience allow the U.S. government to destroy privacy, Internet freedom and basic liberties for people around the world. A former CIA analyst who worked for the NSA through a private contractor, Snowden says he believes he did the right thing by publicizing the NSA program, but he fears imprisonment as a consequence. That's why he left his home, job and girlfriend in Hawaii three weeks ago and flew to Hong Kong in China, where he hopes to find protection due to what he calls a spirited commitment to free speech. He also says China is one of the few countries that might resist U.S. efforts to extradite him. Though many journalists and China watchers pondered if China was the best choice for Snowden. Max Fisher, who covers China for the Washington Post, suggested too many spy movies, perhaps? Certainly, mainland China isn't a haven for government whistleblowers or civil liberties. Hong Kong is its own special administrative region, but it's still under Beijing's thumb. Journalist Nicholas Kristof speculated the CIA and Chinese authorities would be in a race to get to Snowden first. The Obama administration has cracked down on whistleblowers in recent years. In the case of Bradley Manning, the soldier behind the WikiLeaks leaks, the government is seeking life imprisonment. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a broader view.